Hello there future ACCs, this is Vishnu Vijay, a proud fin trammer and I welcome you all to the APM revision short series where we look at the hot topics from the APM syllabus and we will be revising through it once again for your easy understanding. So let's get started shall we? So folks in this particular session I will be discussing about the strategic planning and control activities or a basic concepts in relation to this particular topic which some students don't quite understand clearly. So let me just get this straight. So the first thing that an organization needs to do is set their objectives, isn't it? You all know that. Now, after setting the objective or mission that they have, what is the next step? They create strategies or course of action in order to achieve these objectives, isn't it? So this particular process is known as strategic planning. Okay, folks, it's basically Deciding in advance as to what is to be done in order to achieve the objectives or long-term objective. That's basically the idea here. And what about control? Control is measuring the performance that is that has actually been done. And we compare this performance with the planned targets. And then if we identify any sort of deviations, what do we do? We investigate into them or take remedial action, isn't it? So that's basically what controlling process is. Now, Let's talk about how CSFs and KPIs come into play here. And this is an area that most students are a bit doubtful of as well, isn't it? So let me just clear that up. So folks, after setting the objectives, what we do is we identify some critical areas where we can excel at, or where we have to excel at in order to achieve that objective. And these critical areas are known as CSFs or critical success factors. Now, what are KPIs then? Well, KPIs are key performance indicators because we can't just, uh, you know, identify the particular critical areas that we have to excel in in order to achieve the objective, isn't it? We have to understand how far we have excelled in each of these critical areas, isn't it? So for each CSF that we've identified, we've, we also detect or we also put a KPI or key performance indicator for each of them. And what is the purpose of KPIs? The key performance indicator indicates as to what extent have we excelled in each performance or each critical success factors. Okay, folks, so that's basically the idea here. So to brief it out overall, first of all, there's the objective, and then we set out the critical success factor. We identify the critical success factor where we have to excel in, and then we set key performance indicators to measure the extent to which we have excelled in each of these KPIs. As simple as that, isn't it? So that's basically what I want to cover in this small session. However, we will be covering a lot of more interesting topics in the next few uh, series as well. Okay, folks, so stay tuned for those and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more informative content. Okay, folks, so till then, this is Vishnu Vijay signing off.